So you've, obviously you've talked with Mr. Marine, you're well aware that uh, the only jurisdiction we have here is to set bond, determine whether or not you wish a preliminary hearing. I have waivers of preliminary hearing that have been executed uh, by your attorney. I understand you wish to waive your preliminary hearing on both of these cases. Sir. Uh, officer, I need uh, Mr. Uh, Keaton to sign two waivers of preliminary hearing on this case. to uh, tell me about bond. Uh, thank you, Your Honor. May I please the court? I'll be relatively brief. My client has no criminal history whatsoever. Um, he is gainfully employed. I believe he's been with Lawrenceville Heights High School for approximately eight years. Um, he has stable residence. He has family in the area that's retained, um, me and my firm. And uh, you know, under those circumstances, he's not a flight risk. I'd ask that a reasonable bond be set. compared to yours. Uh, I, I'm not sure if he's gainfully employed any longer. Uh, and I, I am very concerned about these actions and the fact that uh, there could be more coming. So I am going to indicate that the attorney was present. I'm going to enter a technical plea of not guilty. The preliminary hearing is waived. Crime and probable cause is found. The uh, bond, uh, the case is ordered bound over to the grand jury. And I've set the bond at $500,000 cash or surety. Okay? Good luck. Thank you very Good much. Good luck, sir. Thank you. Yeah. Counsel, I, I have one more thing I forgot to do. I'm setting his first appearance for Friday. Mr. Marine, I, I forgot. I, I'm setting his first appearance for Friday. Okay. Perfect. At uh, 